We're underway here at Mosaic Stadium and a high short kick almost looked like an onside kick. Calgary tried to recover it and it looks like they did. Calgary right now is going against the wind for the most part here in this first quarter. Britton back to pass. He's gonna fire again and this one is picked off. Getting his hand on it for the Regina Rams is Jacob Tkachuk and he could go all the way. Touchdown for Regina. Three receivers to the right of Britain. Two men in the backfield. They hand it off and Clark has a wide open hole. Down to the 30, to the 20, down the sidelines. Can he get into the end zone? No. Knocked out of bounds at the sidelines by Delaney Robinson. Shows Calgary because he felt the academic programs were great and he liked the coaches here. Is Britton gonna squeeze outside and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Britton was able to go on a two-way go there and is able to kind of hold. The first quarter when they were going against the wind, the, the offense has struggled a bit so far here in the second. Let's see if they can get some going here. Going deep down the field, taking a shot and this one is caught. What a catch by Luke Gutek down to the five yard line. 87 yards on the season. That's gotta be one of the biggest. This time they're gonna hand it off and finding some running room and getting into the end zone for the Calgary Dinos. Who else would you expect? It's Mr. Matthew Clark. Clark. Second and 10. Pelche fires, caught, that's a Pell, but it's not gonna be enough for a first down. He's wrapped up right away by Taylor Young. That's gonna bring up third down. Although on that one was short, it brings up a third and long for the Rams. And this one is way over the head of the punter. That's Isaac Wegner, and he just kicks it outside the end zone. That so Taylor Young stands at about the goal line to receive this kick. High spiraling kick and he's gonna get it at about the three. Look out, loses the football. This one rolled into the end zone and is that gonna be a safety touch? With that's just point. under 720 left in the fourth. Sibley making his presence felt just in time here in the fourth quarter. Britton back to pass, fires. This one tips up in the air and it's intercepted. Second and 10 from the two yard line. They're gonna pass once again. This time, getting it outside to Erickson, tries to make one guy miss, he does, can't get past the second wave, gets a little. And there you have it right there. So they give up the two points and try to flip the field position. So Score tied at 20. Here's Pelche over the middle, and this one's picked off. Everett Schmulan getting his hand on it for the Calgary Dinos, and a turnover there, a big play and Calgary's got it back. You know, we had a pack not too long ago where it talked about turnovers and here it is. your back a lot of times is a help, but when it's 80 or 90 kilometers an hour, you never know what that wind's gonna do. They're gonna go to the air once again. Britton with time, looking, can't find anybody, takes a shot and he's got a man. That's gonna be a first down and more for the Calgary Dinos. Vince Trambari to line up for a 29 yard field goal for the go-ahead points for the Calgary Dinos. This kick is up and it is through. So the Dinos convert on the field goal, 23-20 now. They lead with just over a minute to go in the fourth quarter. If they were to line up for it, they're not gonna do it quite yet. Gotta be careful, don't wanna let time run out either. So fourth quarter, only seven seconds remaining. They'd like to get about six or eight more yards and get closer to field goal range. It's Erickson once again. Look out, is he gonna go down in time or is the clock gonna run out? Erickson is down, there's no time left and that's gonna do it. Another close Canada West game that comes down to the final play. Marshall Erickson getting so close, but it's the Calgary Dinos who roll into Regina and come out with a 23 to 20 victory over the Regina Rams.